Hi students, this session is for class 7, subject mathematics, chapter 8, linear equations, topic solving linear equations. Topics covered in this session are solving linear equations, methods of solving linear equations in one variable. Below this, we are going to discuss trial and error method. Simultaneous method. Another name for simultaneous method is balancing method. A linear equation. A shortened way of stating that two expressions are equal. Look at the example. y plus 5 is equal to 2y minus 3. Here the expression which is to the left of equal to symbol is y plus 5. And the expression which is to the right of equal to symbol is 2y minus 3. Here we say that these two expressions are equal. And another thing, a linear equation means the power of the variable will be always 1. An equation. We know that an equation is made up of constants and variables. Okay. A mathematical statement that equates two expressions. A mathematical statement that equates two expressions. That is called an equation. Example, x plus 6 is equal to 23. Conditions for an equation are First one, variables and constants are related to equal to sign. Second one, and equation of degree 1 is called as linear equation. An equation of degree 1 is called as linear equation. Let us see some examples. x minus 2 equal to 7. This equation satisfy both the conditions. What is the first condition? Variables and constants are related to equal to sign. Is it true here? Yes. x minus 2 is one of the expression which is equal to the constant. 7. Okay. First condition satisfied. What is the second condition? An equation of degree 1 is a linear equation. Okay. Here. What is a x power? There is 1. Okay. So, here the degree of the equation here is 1. Therefore, x minus 2 is equal to 7 is a equation. Let us see another one. p by 5 is equal to 13. This equation also satisfy two conditions. That is the equal to symbol and the degree of the variable p is 1. Solving linear equation. The numerical value of a variable that satisfies the equation. If you substitute a number in the place of a variable in the equation, both sides get equates. So, LHS equal to RHS. In that place, that particular value is called as the solution or root of the equation. Okay. There are three methods of solving linear equations. First one is trial and error method. Second one, method of simultaneous operation. Third one, method of transposition. In this, we are going to discuss trial and error method, method of simultaneous operation. What is trial and error method? Various values are substituted for the variable. Method of simultaneous operation? When the same value is added or subtracted or multiplied or divided to both sides, the equation remains unchanged. Solution or root of the equation. The particular value of the variable. The particular value of the variable which satisfy the equation is called as the solution or root of the equation. Let us see an example. x plus 5 equal to 8. Here we have to find the value for x. So let us take the trial and error method. Here if you substitute 4 in the place of x, we get 4 plus 5 equal to 9 which is not equal to 8. Okay. Left hand side we get 9. Right hand side we have 8. 
so which is not equal if you substitute 3 in the place of x 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 which is equal to right hand side therefore the value for x is equal to 3 x equal to 3 is a solution or root of the equation that particular value is called as the solution or root of the equation this method is called as trial and error method let us take the same example x plus 5 equal to 8 here we have to remove this 5 on the LHS to remove what we can do here we can add minus 5 to both side we have to add it here so x plus 5 is already in the left hand side of the equation we are adding this minus 5 on both the sides okay on right hand side we have 8 already we are adding minus 5 if you added or subtracted or multiplied or divided any number on both the sides the equation is always balanced that's why we are doing this okay now in LHS plus 5 and minus 5 get cancelled so x equal to 3 how 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 therefore x equal to 3 is a solution or root of the equation this method is called simultaneous method which we can call it as balancing method method of simultaneous is also called as balancing method exercise 8.1 second roman use the method of trial and error to solve the given equation fourth sum 5 minus x equal to 7 here we have to use trial and error method to find the solution of the given equation 5 minus x equal to 7. Let us move on to the solution. Equation is 5 minus x equal to 7. Different types of values are substituted to find the particular value which means that is the solution. So we have to draw a tabular column for trial and error method. Let us draw the tabular column first column will be value for the variable x different values are substituted to find the solution so first column is value for the variable x x is given in the equation in the equation they have given that x is the variable so we take on it as x next column is lhs on lhs side in the given equation we have 5 minus x Next column is RHS. On RHS side in the given equation we have 7. And the final column is conclusion. Here we have to test whether LHS is equal to RHS or not. Okay. So let us substitute 2 first in the place of X. On substituting 2 LHS becomes 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. On RHS we have 7. 3 is not equal to 7. So, this 2 is not satisfying the equation. So, it is false. The value 2 is not satisfying the equation. Which means, LHS is not equal to RHS. Now, let us substitute 1. LHS becomes 5 minus 1 equal to 4. RHS, we have 7. 4 is not equal to 7. 1 is not satisfying the equation. So, it is false. Let us substitute 0. 5 minus 0 equal to 5. On RHS we have 7. 5 is not equal to 7. This is also false. Let us substitute minus 1. So, LHS becomes 5 minus of minus 1. Okay. So, minus into minus plus. So, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. On RHS we have 7. 6 is not equal to 7. This is also false. Let us substitute minus 2. LHS becomes 5 minus of minus 2 which is 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7. Now LHS we have 7. On RHS we have 7. 
7 is equal to 7. LHS is equal to RHS. So, minus 2 satisfies the equations. So, it is true. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 is the solution or root of the equation. x is equal to minus 2 is the solution or root of the equation. Fifth sum 2x plus 3 equal to x. Let us find the solution using trial and error method. The given equation is 2x plus 3 equal to x. First column is value for the variable x. LHS is 2x plus 3, RHS is x. Conclusion, LHS is equal to RHS. Let us substitute value 0 in the place of x. Okay, so LHS becomes 2 into 0 plus 3 is equal to 2 into 0, we always get 0. So, 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. In the place of x, we have to substitute 0. So, RHS is equal to 0. 3 is not equal to 0. 3 is in the left hand side. 0 is in the right hand side. So, which is not equal. Therefore, it is false. Let us substitute minus 1 for the variable x. So, LHS becomes 2 into minus 1 plus 3. Here we have to multiply 2 and minus 1 first. On multiplying we get minus 2 plus 3. So on adding these two numbers, here sign differs. So we have to subtract. On subtracting we get 1 on LHS side. On RHS we have minus 1. 1 is not equal to minus 1. Therefore this is also false. Minus 1 does not satisfy the equation. Let us substitute minus 2. So, 2 into minus 2 plus 3 is equal to 2 into minus 2 minus 4 plus 3 is equal to minus 1. LHS we have minus 1 and RHS we have minus 2 because we have to substitute minus 2 instead of x. Okay. So, Minus 1 is not equal to minus 2. Therefore, this is also false. Let us substitute minus 3 in the place of x. So, 2 into minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 2 into minus 3 minus 6. Plus 3 is equal to minus 3. What is the value we have substituted for x? Minus 3. So, RHS is equal to minus 3. Now in LHS also we have the value minus 3. In RHS also we have value minus 3. So minus 3 is equal to minus 3. Therefore this is true for the given equation. Okay. Therefore x is equal to minus 3 is the solution or root of the equation. Sixth sum, 2x plus 5 equal to x plus 7. Let us find the solution. Here we have 2x plus 5 on LHS, x plus 7 on RHS. Let us draw the tabular column. First column is value for the variable x. Second, LHS which is 2x plus 5, RHS which is x plus 7. Conclusion, LHS is equal to RHS. Let us substitute. 0 in the place of x. Now let us find LHS. Here 2 into 0 plus 5 is equal to 0 plus 5 which is equal to 5. On LHS we have 5 now. Let us substitute on RHS and find the value. 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. 5 is not equal to 7. Therefore it is false. Let us substitute 1 in the place of x. So LHS becomes 2 into 1 plus 5 which is equal to 2 plus 5 which is equal to 7. On RHS we have 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. So 7 is not equal to 8. So this is also false. Let us substitute 2 for x. So 
2 into 2 plus 5 is equal to 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9 on RHS we have 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 so 9 is equal to 9 in LHS also we got the value 9 in RHS also we got the value 9 so which is true therefore x is equal to 2 is the solution or root of the equation example 3 solve 2x minus 1 equal to 9 let us find the solution 2x minus 1 is on the LHS side and 9 is on the RHS side here we have to use simultaneous method so let us remove minus 1 by substituting plus 1 on both sides okay now on LHS minus 1 and plus 1 get cancelled so we have 2x is equal to 10 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 so now we have to remove 2 then only we can get the value for x so how to remove 2 dividing by 2 we can remove 2 because it is with the multiplication okay so 2x equal to 10 now we have to divide by 2 on both sides here 2 to get cancelled on LHS side and we can cancel 10 by 2 so we get 5 in the place of 10 therefore x equal to 5 is the solution of the equation let us check it whether x equal to 5 is true or not substitute x equal to 5 in 2x minus 1 equal to 9 we have to substitute x equal to 5 so 2 into 5 minus 1 is equal to 10 minus 1 which is equal to 9 in LHS we have value 9 already in the equation RHS we have 9 therefore LHS is equal to RHS the value which we got x equal to 5 is true therefore x equal to 5 is the solution or root of the equation third sum use the method of simultaneous operations on RHS and LHS to solve the given equation first one 8 minus 3x is equal to 11 let us find solution the given equation is 8 minus 3x is equal to 11 here we have to use simultaneous operation method in this method you have to keep it in mind that you have to note the operation in the given equation okay and carry out the appropriate inverse operation to isolate the variable we have to isolate the given variable the value obtained on the other side of the equality sign is the solution of the equation we have to first isolate the variable and the value that obtained on the other side of the equation is the solution of the equation let us see LHS and RHS on LHS side we have 8 minus 3x and on RHS side we have 11 we have to isolate the variable to isolate we have to remove the numbers near the variable first let us remove 8 how to remove here the number is plus 8 if you add minus 8 8 get removed so whatever number you are adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing we have to do it on both the sides on LHS side as well as on RHS side then only the equation get balanced so we have to add minus 8 now okay on both sides so this can be written as 8 is subtracted on both sides so minus 8 minus 8 added on both sides now 8 minus 8 get cancelled because 8 minus 8 is 0 what is the remaining thing minus 3x equal to 3 now 
minus 3 is in multiplication with x. We have to isolate x. So, we have to remove minus 3. What is the inverse operation of minus 3? Yes, of course. Minus 3 is in multiplication with x. So, we have to divide by minus 3 on both sides to isolate the variable x. So, minus 3x is equal to 3 is the equation which we have now. We have to divide by minus 3 on both sides. So, divided by minus 3 on both sides. So, minus 3 minus 3 get cancelled on LHS. Now, we have x equal to 3 by minus 3. So, 3, 3 get cancelled. We have minus sign in the denominator. When 3 is get cancelled by another 3, we have 1 in the place. Okay. So, 3 is divided by 3. So, the quotient is 1. Therefore, x equal to minus 1. As we have minus sign in the denominator, x equal to minus 1. Is the solution or root of the equation. Therefore, x equal to minus 1 is the solution or root of the equation. Third sum, 14 is equal to 27 minus x. Let us find solution. 14 is equal to 27 minus x. Here in LHS we have 14. In RHS we have 27 minus x. We have to remove 27 on RHS side to isolate x. So, we have to subtract 27 on both the sides. Okay. So, minus 27 on LHS and minus 27 on RHS. Now, in RHS side, 27 and minus 27 get cancelled. What is the remaining? 14 minus 27 is equal to minus 13 which is equal to minus x. Now, we have to remove minus a. On both sides, we have minus sign, so it get cancelled. Therefore, x equal to 13. Let us check it whether the solution is correct or not. We have 14 is equal to 27 minus x is the equation. We have to substitute x equal to 13 in 14 is equal to 27 minus x. Okay. So, let us substitute. On RHS side, we have 27 minus x. In the place of x, we have to substitute 13. So, 27 minus 13 is equal to 14. 14 is in RHS side. So, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, the solution satisfies. Therefore, x is equal to 13 is the solution or root of the equation. Second sum, 5x is equal to minus 10. Let us find the solution for the equation LHS and RHS. Let us separate it. On LHS we have 5x, on RHS we have minus 10. Here 5 is in multiplication with x. What is the inverse operation of multiplication? Divide. So we have to divide by 5 on both sides. On dividing by 5, in LHS side 5, 5 get cancelled. On RHS side, 5 as a common factor we can cancel. On cancelling, we have 2 in the place of 10. Already there is minus sign. Therefore, x equal to minus 2. x equal to minus 2 is the solution of the equation. Let us find for fifth sum, x by 15 is equal to 2. Solution for x by 15 is equal to 2. Here, LHS and RHS. In LHS, we have x by 15. On RHS, we have 2. Here, 15 is in division with the x variable. So, how to remove opposite, which means inverse operation for division is multiplication. So, we have to multiply by 15 on both sides. On multiplying 15 on both sides, 15, 15 get cancelled in LHS side. On RHS, 2 into 15, 30. Therefore, x equal to 30. x equal to 30 is the root of the equation. Fourth sum, find the solution of these equations. First one, 4x plus 5.66 is equal to 16. Let us find the solution. 
in LHS we have 4x plus 5.6x and RHS we have 60 as we have like terms we can add them and adding we get 9.66 is equal to 16 to isolate x we have to divide on both side by 9.6 so let us divide on both side by 9.6 now in LHS side 9.6 9.6 get cancelled now we have x equal to 16 by 9.6 as the divisor is in decimal number we have to convert it into whole number then only it will be easily divided so on doing so we have to multiply by 10 by 10 we get 160 by 9 to 6 now we can cancel the numbers using the common factor 16 so 6 16s are 9 to 6 and 10 16s are 160 now x equal to 10 by 6 10 and 6 are even numbers so we can cancel it by 2 table ok so 2 was the common factor we are dividing 6 on dividing 6 we get 3 on dividing 10 we get 5 therefore x equal to 5 by 3 now which is the improper fraction so we have converted into mixed fraction so x equal to 1 2 by 3 therefore x equal to 1 2 by 3 is the solution third sum 3 into x minus 12 equal to 8 let us find solution on LHS side we have 3 into x minus 12 on RHS we have 8 first we have to remove 3 ok which is in multiplication with the expression x minus 12 so to remove 3 we have to divide by 3 on both sides dividing by 3 on both sides 3 3 get cancelled on LHS side therefore the remaining is x minus 12 is equal to 8 by 3 now we have to isolate x to isolate x we have to add 12 on both sides ok 12 is added on both sides so x minus 12 plus 12 is equal to 8 by 3 plus 12 12 minus 12 is 0 so x is the remaining on LHS side and 8 by 3 plus 12 here we have to take LCM on taking LCM it becomes 8 plus 12 into 3 by 3 ok so x equal to 8 plus 12 into 3 by 3 which is equal to 8 plus 36 by 3 now on adding the numerator we get 44 by 3 that is an improper fraction so to convert it into mixed fraction we have to divide 44 by 3 on doing so we get x equal to 14 2 by 3 therefore x equal to 14 2 by 3 is the solution or root of the equation fifth sum solve the given equation by trial and error method second one 7x plus 2 equal to minus 33 for 5 minus 5 7 solution for the equation 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 33 we know that for trial and error method we have to draw tabular column first column is value for the variable x second one lhs which is 7x plus 2 third one rhs which is minus 33 finally conclusion here we have to check it lhs is equal to rhs or not we know the values 5 minus 5 7 which is given in the question itself ok let us substitute 5 in the place of x in LHS. On doing so, we get 7 into 5 plus 2 equal to 35 plus 2 which is equal to 37. On RHS, we have minus 33. So, 37 is not equal to minus 33. This is false. Let us substitute minus 5. So, 7 into minus 5 plus 2 is equal to minus 35 plus 2 which is equal to minus 33. On RHS also we have minus 33. Therefore, minus 33 is equal to minus 33 which is true. 
minus y satisfy the equation. Now let us check it. 7. Okay. So 7 into 7 plus 2 is equal to 49 plus 2 which is equal to 51. But in RHS we have minus 33. 51 is not equal to minus 33. Therefore this is false. Therefore we have to take x equal to minus 5 as the solution. Okay. Therefore x equal to minus 5 is the root of the equation 7x plus 2 is equal to minus 33. Thank you students.